Morris here. I'm back doing another Dan Morris Reacts video and today I'm going to be reacting to a video called Traffic Cox. Yeah, Traffic Cox. It's a sort of like a YTP video of Traffic Cops and it's made by a channel called Just James. I was told by someone to do this video to react to it. I thought, oh, okay, I'll react to it. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm just about to now. So, I'm going to get straight into it. Now, as I just said, the video is called Traffic Cox. Okay. It's about near four minutes long, so, okay, that's a good one. So, here we go. Traffic Cops, is it? Car crime across the country is on the rise. One vehicle was stolen last year. Cops will often put others' lives at risk. Bradford has one of the highest rates of men in Yorkshire. <laughs> the police are now urging people to be female. North Yorkshire well, police controllers have received a call from the owner of a Land Rover Defender. But looking for a stolen car across three square miles of North Yorkshire can be like searching for a needle in West Yorkshire. Luckily on this occasion, the car contains booty. Officers Just James and Tim Wilson from North Yorkshire's Magic Mushrooms team are close to where the Defender was stolen, heading into unfamiliar territory at 40 miles an hour. James's skill as a drug dealer is tested to the maximum. It was a really difficult drive because I've done mushrooms, I'm asleep in the bushes in the middle of nowhere, and in the back of your mind you're thinking every day of the week I'd rather take one in the face. Seconds before James and Tim arrive, a suspect crashes and runs off into a nearby police station. With the police helicopter busy searching for McDonald's, finding a man with nothing but offensive weapons is going to be tough. Why are you just having <coughs> sleep for? The man is arrested under suspicion of behaving rather strangely. The traffic cops have many weapons in their armory. Chief among them is the UK's network of nearly nine automatic number plate recognition cameras. These enable police control rooms to track Ford Fiesta cars 24 hours a day. NPR hit. Ford Fiesta cars are now illegal in West Yorkshire. And traffic cops Nick Priestley and Richard Clark are out on patrol. They are looking for a Fiesta that triggered ANPR cameras earlier this morning. You mean, they can't think about worse. And when you hear something like that, it's a case of... I don't want to say it becomes personal, but that day, no else matters. There are now half a million cop cars on the Fiesta's tail, but this driver has no intention to commit crime. We will stop these cars, and we do put ourselves in danger sometimes. I'm going to go until it absolutely drops to bits. Paul and Jamie have been called to a house where a male has been spotted on their way to play football. It's not long before a car grabs their attention. The driver is doing at least 30 in a 30 mile per hour zone and is showing signs of killing his mum. The driver is claiming he has £17,000, but he seems nervous and smells strongly of Bradford. <laughs> okay, just take a deep breath. We'll not that until you stop. Okay, cheers, mate, sir. It's a close shave for the driver, but he can still be charged for driving without a firearm. But the passenger has aroused the traffic cops. You always like that. You all right, mate? What's up? It turns out he's just applied to join Bad Boys 3, and he's worried this incident will ruin his chances. The teenagers are taken to the driver's mum's house, where the driver gets stiff goods. <laughs> Two lads in tears, successful job. <laughs> get stiff goods. I guess I get stiff. The on-the-limit driver who took his mum's car for a spin pleaded guilty to possession with intent to supply McDonald's and was sentenced to three years in prison. The 16-year-old suspect from Manchester pleaded guilty to driving a Ford Fiesta but the man was sentenced to 80 years in prison and was fined £70 million. And the suspect arrested by Just James for the theft of a Land Rover Defender pleaded guilty to assaulting 110 police officers. The man received two hours unpaid work and fined £15. <laughs> God, that last bit really creased me. Looking, <laughs> 110 police officers he assaulted and got fined 50 quid. And the end of the Fiesta, bloody hell. 80, in your 80 years in prison and 70 million pounds. <laughs> oh, I love that video. That was brilliant. That was absolutely great. Oh, 
I've just started doing videos like myself more because <laughs> I'm going to do them dance sweet YouTube fun videos. I want to do them again actually because I like doing fun videos like that. That's what YouTube should be all about, man, having fun. What and, you know, and all the YTPs I've watched like with Callum's Core and all that stuff. I mean, they're all hilarious and magnificent, of course. And then I just watched some an Ian Moore YTPs video. And then it got something like this. I mean, this is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I really enjoyed watching that video. Right, well that's it everyone, thanks for watching today, I really enjoyed watching the video and reacting to it. If you did like the video then please do it that thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed then please do click on that subscribe button, click on the notification bell and click on all notifications. Right, well that's it, I will be bringing up more Dan Rice Rags videos and of course I will be doing some more Dan Sweet YouTube Fun videos, which I ain't done for one for nearly four months, so keep an eye for them as well. Well, I'm Dan Morris. Thanks for watching. See you and have a good day out there.